Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry, That Goat Metal Show. Hope everybody's doing good on today, Sunday, February 20th, 2022. Alright, oh, it's been, been, been good. Good weekend, good day so far. It's cold out here. Mother Nature's doing her whole fucked up thing. Also say hi to Scar, right? That's my buddy over there wants to be in the video. Alright, so it's all good. Some, some Scar, man. Gotta keep it brutal. <laughs> Alright, first off, I want to talk about the premiere video I just saw of violence. All right. Oh my God. Let the world burn. All right. I know it premiered five days ago, but I didn't get a chance to see it till earlier today. And what can I say? What can I say about it? it it's it's a fantastic video. That's one really really good video. I haven't. You know, it, it's it's kind of weird to just sit down and look at music videos anymore. Some of them are just kind of you know live or whatever they're not doing any more of the you know trying to make movies or things out of it this was actually a pretty well made video and it just shows uh you know how well violent violence has become even more uh in depth to what's going on and I, I just gotta say man i'm just so proud of these guys man i mean one of the the, the greats from my time from you know the thrash era in the late 80s early 90s and it just shows that bands like Violence coming back just gives us another, you know, boost of great music. And, you know, the, the, the likes of Violence, Sacred Right, Demolition Hammer, you know, Dark Angel, all these bands who were big at that time and, you know, they slowed it down or they stopped playing and then all of a sudden they got a little boost of energy to come back and just give us back that, that music we miss. And, you know, I, I very much appreciate it. Uh, I'll leave the description of the video. I'll leave the the, the, cop, the link to the video in my description. If you guys want to check it out? It's a great fucking video. Great fucking video. All right. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys have got a chance. There was a lyric video that came out, and that um, one of my, my my boy one of my boys sent me up. And Richie, the silent producer, sent it to me, and I was just shocked. I you know first I, I listen. To this, band called Dream Widow, right, I'm like, man, I didn't realize, I'm listening to it, thrashy as fuck, you know, I, I didn't even have a clue, I'm just listening to the music, listening to how good it is, and then I start talking about it, and they're telling me that this was um, the Foo Fighters, and I'm like, what, they said, yeah, they got a movie coming out called Studio 666, which comes out on the 25th, and it's supposed to be a fan, you know, it's supposed to be like a horror comedy or something like that. It looks cool. I saw the portrayal of it. it looks really cool. And I guess uh, Dream Widow is the, uh, you know, what, 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 they, what they become when they're possessed, I guess. Or something, whatever is going on in the movie. But, um, you know, the, the music, it, it's, it's fucking phenomenal. Phenomenal. And it's just, not, not that it's a shame. Look, I'm not going to go and throw shade at Dave Grohl for, you know, the... What, what kind of uh, direction he went with his music when he did Nirvana and he did Foo Fighters and stuff. Look, to each his own, but it shows what he has inside, which is a thrash metal head in there, and you can see it. And, and with that talent that he has in the band, it, you can just see it flourish out. So, another again, I'll throw that link in the description in case you want, guys want to check out that video. That is a phenomenal song. Phenomenal song. It's called March of the Insane. Oh my gosh. I, I was blown away. Blown away. And I think, if anything, you guys should really check it out and hear how well this... I mean, it's, it's, it's as good as any thrash band you're going to hear. All right? And it also gives us some, some thing that, you know, David Grohl could get his inner thrasher out or his inner heaviness out. And this is the type of shit he could put out. Can you imagine if Dave Grohl and this band was to do... You know, I heard something to the effect that they're going to try to make an album. Which I, I, I'm looking forward to because I can just imagine what the rest of the album would sound like. And it sounds like that, like anything like March of the Insane. Um, they, they would have such a second following of fans. I mean, you know, guys who would come out the woodwork. And even, you know, it's like not to say that we wouldn't appreciate what he does with Foo Fighters. I mean, look, you know, he does what he does with Foo Fighters. He's got a couple of, you know, cool songs there that I, I can listen to on the side, of, you know. And, but it's, you know, it's not pretty much what I'm really into. But you give me this, and it's like, holy shit. Holy shit. That, that blew my mind. Blew my mind to even say that that was fucking, you know, Foo Fighters. 
that they could play like that. I mean, it's just I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I just it, it just it just it just got. I mean, but you know, nothing, nothing surprises me anymore. I mean, look, you know, you got a whole bunch of people sometimes who do um, certain things that they're used to doing, like either pop or rap or whatever, and then they switch over to try to do some heaviness. I mean. Ice T was uh, a number one. Is the, probably the number one example of that. You know, he was a straight up uh, L.A. rapper, and he was into metal. You know, he was always into metal, but you know, he was with his rap. You know, I guess he had the pat. It was more of a passion for rap. But then later on, when he got bigger, he felt he could go his his um, love of metal and rock, and he made Body Count. And Body Count is still going on to this day. You know, speaking of which, uh, Mr. Ice T. February 16th just celebrated his 64th birthday. 64. Damn. You know, look. Wow. I'm just like uh, amazed. Amazed about that. You know, freaking Ice T and, you know, a lot of props to him. Still playing, still doing music, still acting, still doing what he's doing. 60, 64 years old, man. Um, wow. That's all I got to say. But um, February 16th seems to be. Um, a great year, uh, a good month. Uh, we also had uh, Dave Lombardo, who uh, birthday was February sixteenth, turned fifty seven. The great drummer, great inspir, you know, the greatest, one of the greatest top three drummers in my in my time. But I can say that Dave Lombardo was there. All right, and um, you know, fifty seven and still going strong. You know, still putting out. You know, still playing, still doing his thing. You know. Happy birthday, Dave Lombardo. And as far as an album goes, you know, we can't go wrong with the fact that on that same day, you know, in uh, that same day, we have Spiritual Healing. 34 years ago. 34 years ago, the, the album Spiritual Healing came out from death. Now, Spiritual Healing holds a place in my heart. I mean, look, I was, I was always, I love death, but, um, I was introduced to death, I guess, during uh, leprosy, and it was uh, during later time um, of when leprosy came out. They were already touring, and, uh, and you know, Pull the Plug was a big song, and I was just starting to um, learn about death, and um, I didn't pick up my first death album till Spiritual Healing came out. And I'm just amazed that it's already 34 years, and that album is, is a fantastic album. Fantastic fucking album. Uh, you can see, I mean, if you go from Scream Bloody Gore, Leprosy, and Spiritual Healing, you can see the development of Chuck, where he was going, his music, but Spiritual Healing is just, you know, amazing. That's when you can see his chops were just going in crazy, crazy. And uh, his guitar playing was phenomenal. And uh, rest in peace, Chuck, man. 34 years ago, you, you made a fantastic album that still lives on. And, uh, yeah, we'll miss you, man. We'll miss you. We'll miss you. But, um, yeah, man, it's just amazing, man. You know, all these things that have been going on now, I'm just glad to hear that, you know, there's a lot of good shows coming on. I just got a, a, a text yesterday from um, one of my boys, um, well, the silent producer, Richie Delgado, he sent me a picture of one of our good friends, or his cousin, Tony, his son, uh, Jamie, is playing for a band. And they, they had a show at uh, Lucky 13 Saloon, and they opened up, uh, you know, they played, they sent me a picture of it. And I want to give them a lot of props. Tony, Jamie, yo, congrats, man. That, that's that's uh, phenomenal. And I'm looking forward to hearing some of that music uh, when when I get a chance. If you've got video, you know, go my way, you know, we'll talk about it, all right? Okay, guys. Uh, also, um, I want to thank everybody who's been uh, going on my uh, my merch store, the this this Sith Lords merch. Who's been uh, purchasing some some gear? Um, you know, running some great sales. Um, I'm gonna do is that the, the, the shirts that I have for the show, um, which is that Goat Metal Show and this Sith Lords merch. Uh, anybody who wants to purchase those shirts, uh, look at. Tell me which ones you want. And you'll get them with free shipping. All right, free shipping. Uh, those shirts are uh, only running for um, twenty bucks. Uh, you know, twenty bucks, free shipping. You know, and if you get, you know, you get two. You know, that's that. We'll, we'll, we'll chop it down to thirty-eight bucks. What about that? Two for thirty-eight bucks, free shipping. Can't go wrong with that, right? So 
So just go up on uh, this Sith Lords merch on my Facebook page. Check out the, the other shirts I have. Uh, look at the gear for uh, the Sith Lords of Metalhead and that Goat Metal show. They all should be there. Um, tell me which ones you like, and you know, we'll message each other on Messenger, and we'll discuss everything from there. Okay? All right, guys. So that's it right now. I want to thank the, the Metal Gods for continuing to give us great music and to keep this stuff going. It's going to start getting warmer soon, so we should be getting a lot more things coming up. All right? All right, guys. So that's it for now. This is Barry. This is it. Ready to do my other channel, man. That Goat Metal Show. But also, if you are a metalhead who's into geek stuff, please make it your business to go and check out my other channel, This Sith Lord is a Metalhead. I discuss a lot of Star Wars and geeks shit. I'm an old school metalhead, but I am also an old school geek who loves, loves me my Star Wars. All right, so guys, give it a check. I'll leave all the links in the, in the bottom for you to check it out, and we'll go from there, right? This is Barry, that goat metal show. Stay brutal.